Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be seeing how we can write a Java program to convert from decimal to its octal equivalent. This question appeared in ISC Computer Science 2011 theory paper. So according to the question, a class deci oct has been defined to convert a decimal number into its equivalent octal number. For example, if input is 20, then in the output, first of all, it will display the original number and then its octal equivalent, which is 24 in this case. The members of the class are given below. So the class name, deci oct, and the data members are n and oct, n to store the original decimal number and oct to store the octal equivalent. We have a non-parameterized constructor also to initialize the data members. Get num function to assign the parameter to the variable n. The deci oct function is a recursive function which is going to find the octal equivalent of the given number. Void show, it displays the decimal number, then calls this recursive function to get the octal equivalent and then displays the octal equivalent. So we also need to include the main function to create an object and call the functions accordingly to enable the task. And there is one more part to this question. We also need to write two disadvantages of using recursion. So that's the question. Let's first of all start writing the program. So here I have created a file deciop.java. Let's start with the import statement. We import the scanner class and then we create the class deciopt. We add the data members. And then we create a constructor this is a non-parameterized constructor. Where n and oct both are initialized to 0. Next, there is a get num function. Which is used to initialize n. And now we create that recursive function that is going to find the octal equivalent of this number n. So it is a void function. It's not going to return any value. So as long as the number is greater than zero, We find the individual digits. So D is equal to N modulus eight because when we are converting into octal, we have to divide by eight. And we also reduce the number each time. And we call the decioct function again. And octal is equal to octal into 10 plus the digit. So this is our recursive function that will find the octal equivalent of the number n. Next, the show function that will first of all print the original number n then it calls the decioct function and then it prints the octal equivalent now we only need to add the main function 
where we will create a scanner object. We ask for the number. Enter the decimal number or I can also write decimal integer. So in num equals integer dot parsint in dot next line. Next we create an object of Desioc class. So Desioc obj equals new Desioc. So we are using the non parameterized constructor here. Next, obj dot get num and we pass the number that we have just received from the user and obj.show and our program is complete let's check the output so let's input 20 and we can see that we are getting the result as 24 Firstly, it is displaying the original number 20 and then it is finding its octal equivalent and then displaying 24. If we run again, let's say if we give uh, 8, so it is giving the octal equivalent as 10. Also, let's try to understand how this recursive function works. So if you recall, our n was initialized to 0 at first and octal was also initialized to 0 and let's say later the user enters the value as 20. Now n is greater than 0 so we can find the digit. So d equals 20 modulus 8 which will give 4 and n is equal to n by 8. So 8, 2 times is 16. So that's why n becomes 2. And after this, again, we call the Desioc function after modifying n. So as you can see, we could not complete the last statement here. The last statement is still pending because from here, we have entered the function once again without completing this task. So this is pending. We have to remember this. Now, Desioc function is called again and n is right now 2. So n is still greater than 0. Again, it finds the digit. So the next digit will be 2 modulus 8, which will be 2 only. And n divide by equal to 8. That means this time n becomes 0. And again, we call the Desioc function. When we call the Desioc function again, we see that this time n is no more greater than 0. So we can say that recursion stops here. But now the pending statements have to be executed. So it will start with the most recent one. So octal is equal to octal into 10 plus t. That means octal is equal to 0 into 10 plus the most recent digit was 2. So we will write 2 over here. So that means octal becomes 0 into 10, 0 plus 2, 2. So we can say octal now becomes 2. And then one more statement was pending. So again, we calculate. So octal is equal to octal into 10. This time octal is already 2. So 2 into 10 plus 
the previous digit was 4 so we write 4 so 2 into 10 is 20 plus 4 it is 24 and that's how it is finding the octal equivalent of the given number using recursion so i hope you have understood how to solve this question how to convert from decimal to octal thank you for watching and see you in the next class very soon